An exhibit at the Musée des Arts Décoratifs in Paris brought together the simple elegance of Cristobal Balenciaga and the international style of Mona Bismarck. The American philanthropist left her vast wardrobe to his friend and fellow designer, Hubert de Givenchy. She said, do you want all that clothes I have? There are so many. I said, of course, but I am so happy to, to have your clothes. I have all that clothes in my country place and in the attic. We have a little promenade and to see the exhibition and the beauty of the clothes of Mr. Balenciaga for the Countess Bismarck. Mr. Balenciaga is a great perfectionist in this work, and Countess Bismarck is perfectionist in this lifetime. She lives in a very simple way. Of course, she loves clothes. She receives, at that period of time, every day is big ball, big party, big dinner, maybe two, three balls in the same evening. The first room is more daytime and cocktail, and the rest are more evening. This is piquet de coton, and when you see the cut, it's so simple, it's absolutely marvelous. Not only he has the sense of the cut, but he has the, the sense of the fabric. He understands fabric. It always tells me, fabric of life. A jersey is a different thing, a satin is another thing, but you must live that way with the fabric. If you see all the detail of the embroidery and everything is, is marvelous, so simple. Balenciaga is a Spanish and of course there's many reminiscences of the color, but the, the black jet, you know, and the lace and everything is the uh, spirit of Spain. See that one because it looks very like a toreador, very Spanish. Uh, broadly, so beautiful with your light, the broadly move, <laughs> so beautiful. Seven beautiful wedding dresses were the only part of the exhibition that did not come from Bismarck's own wardrobe. See that dress is so, the architecture is so incredible. When you see the cut, everything is perfection. This is a wonderful photo few months before Monsieur Balenciaga died in Spain. And I think it's nice to have the photo of him looking to all the beautiful things he realized. You don't think so? 